Noel Tovey has led an accomplished life. He's been a choreographer and director all over the world. He shared the stage with Judy Garland and he taught George Harrison's wife to dance. But Noel has a criminal conviction to his name for having gay sex or buggery as the offence was then known for which he was found guilty at the age of 17. It was 1951, three decades before homosexuality was decriminalised in Victoria. I was invited to a party at Max Dubarry's house. Max was a well-known female impersonator and um, not at all liked by the police. And I arrived at the party <coughs> and there were the usual guests there, a few pimps and their prostitutes and gang, you know, petty gangsters and the usual Melbourne push. And about two o'clock in the morning, the police arrived and everybody except me had left. Noel was arrested, accused of sleeping with Max and spent months in Pentridge Prison awaiting trial. He was eventually released on a good behaviour bond, but the stigma of a conviction has always remained. I was vilified by the press, right? The woman next door abused my mother for giving birth to a child like me. Um, I was beaten up. I was raped by some married men I knew and given the clap. Life wasn't easy. Victoria is now set to become the first state to expunge the criminal records of men such as Noel. The policy shift will not only end decades of shame for those convicted, but will remove the restrictions they face in travelling, volunteering or taking certain jobs. Noel's criminal record could have easily stopped him from leading a successful life, except for one lucky caveat. My mother came home from work, you know, I was in floods of tears, and then she said, but you know, you don't have to use the name you were convicted under, your legal name is Tovey. And I went down and got my birth certificate, and there it was, Noel Christian Tovey. Unlike countless other men convicted in those days, Noel was able to leave Melbourne to make his life abroad. Well, I was principal dancer with the Sadler's Wells Opera Ballet and um, I danced in, on television and I did a series called Saturday Night Spectacular with all the top names of the day, including Judy Garland, and I danced and I was on Sunday night at the Palladium. Noel recalls his extraordinary life in his one-man play turned book, Little Black Bastard which debuted at the Midsummer Gay and Lesbian Festival almost 10 years ago. He attributes his success to one thing. Despite everything, I've had a really successful career. And I, but it's because I've always been positive. Expunging historic gay sex convictions may finally end the stigma for countless others too. It is just very positive, that uh, sort of recognition that uh, um, being gay is uh, okay and yeah.